I'm Richard Jackson, the Managing Director of Velocity UK. We are the world's leading velocity patching machine manufacturer and service provider. Velocity patching is the name used to describe the process globally. It's the most environmentally friendly way of repairing roads currently used in the UK. The current machines in the market are predominantly a two-man operation. One man directs the delivery hose at the defect and he uses high volume air to blow the dust and debris out of the way, exposing all the cracks and crevices before injecting the bond coat that seals all the cracks and crevices. The aggregate is injected into the jet airstream. Each granule of aggregate as it passes through the spray nozzle gets a nice even coverage of the bitumen emulsion and it's compacted layer by layer from the bottom up, not the top down as it's fired into the ground. We needed to understand why velocity patching works so successfully to enable us to further enhance the performance of the materials and the machines. Our aspirations for the new design were to come up with a new delivery system that would be cleaner, faster and more efficient. To take on a project like this, we needed more expertise and we needed to enlist the help of some of the UK's top computer aid design companies who have much more experience in this than ourselves. My name is Paul Charlton, I'm Managing Director of PDL Solutions Europe Limited based in Hexham. PDL is a leading provider of advanced engineering design and analysis consultancy services. The suggestions that we made in terms of the project were to focus on simple iterations and build up the complexity of the model in a step-by-step -step basis rather than jump in feet first and try and consider and solve the whole problem in one go. The two main software packages that we used on the Velocity project were Computer Aided Design Software or CAD and Computational Fluid Dynamics Software or CFD. The CAD is simply a vehicle to take in the data from Velocity. We then import that into the CFD environment and that gives us the ability to model a lot of testing work in the virtual world. The big advantages for Velocity using CFD in the development of this new delivery system is, is that it saved months and months of producing prototypes and then trialling them with different aggregates in the field. Quite often it's the so-called easy projects that present more than their fair share of technical challenges. The Velocity project was no exception to this rule. Because of the significant density differences between the aggregate and the air, and also because of the challenging targets that were set by Velocity, the Velocity project presented a huge amount of engineering challenges which over a period of time PDL successfully overcame. The new delivery system is the heart of this R&D project. Surrounding it we are now using latest composite materials and lightweight manufacturing and modern techniques to enable us to develop this new technology. It's easy for us to see how the final product design has been affected by the CFD analysis in as much that performance has improved by up to 20%. By making it more efficient, that means we can now power it from the truck's main engine rather than having to fit a second engine to the machine, which has major environmental benefits. PDL is continuing to work with Velocity in a number of different areas. First and foremost, to help them develop the capacity that they now need to fulfill the new demand, but secondly, to optimize the structural performance of the new vehicle. Velocity's unique services and ongoing commitment to R&D put us ahead of any other competitors. Velocity believe we are writing the standards for Velocity patching globally. 